As the school year wraps up, one administrator is just getting started. She prepares to lead the largest school district in our area. News Channel 10's Madison Oliver sat down with Amarillo ISD's new superintendent, and she joins us now live in the studio with a look at her goals for the first year on the job. The ISD Board of Trustees recently confirmed Dr. Dana West as the next superintendent, bringing in a new era for the school district. Dana West is the first female superintendent in AISD's 126-year history. She hopes to leave her mark by improving the district's mission to graduate every student prepared for success beyond high school. We're going to continue just to strengthen what our, what our district mission statement is. And really, with House Bill 5 and the changes that that brought to us, that beyond high school piece becomes even more important. The district's growing low-income and refugee student population will not deter her from making sure teachers equip students with the skills they need to succeed. We need to make sure that we're preparing students for living wage careers. West says her seven years of experience with AISD will help her tackle how to achieve that goal. I know because I was at Travis Middle School and I know that teachers work hard and, and that those students and that community is a great place. So it's an honor to work with our refugees, it's, it, but, it, but at the same time, it's a community effort. And I'm excited to be able to just dialogue with the city and dialogue with our community about how we best reach those students and their families. An open dialogue, according to West, is key to moving the district forward. That is why she plans on visiting every school campus this summer. I really want to, first of all, spend time listening to people. What are things that we need to stop doing? What are things that we need to start doing? Wes says she wants the entire district to feel like they can be a part of the vision for AISD's future. Current Superintendent Rod Schroeder will train Wes this summer and she will officially take office on September 1st. Reporting live in the studio, Madison Olliwell, News Channel 10.